We bought, bought a house. house. Welcome back to my channel, guys. We have a really exciting announcement. We uh, we bought an old farmhouse. Yeah. <laughs> We are so excited to share this. We are so excited to be living in this house. It's literally a dream house and we're so excited. Are we excited? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so just a little bit of quick background for you guys. Um, we weren't really planning on moving, but when I found this house, I just absolutely fell in love. So it is an old, um, or at least part of the house is an old original farmhouse from the 1700s. It has so much charm and character, I just can't even. Um, and the like the previous owner who we purchased the home from, he's actually a builder and he um, like restores old historic properties. That's like one of his favorite things to do. So it was a total fixer upper and he did all the fixing fixer upping, fixing upping. <laughs> he did all the fixing up um, and we bought the house off of him. So we are so in love with it. When I saw it, I was just like, Matt, I mean, come on. This is such a dream house and it is totally our dream house. And I know you guys wanna see it um, and I will be sharing the full house with you. But before we get into all of that, let's first go back to when we started this whole process. Good morning! So it's like 8 a.m. and we are up and out of our house bright and early. We got the whole crew, Rosie in the back, Miss Hayden back there, that's driving, obviously. Because um, we have showings today. We have, as of right now, seven showings booked. This is the first day our house has been on the market. Um, we're hoping, keep your fingers crossed, that we might get an offer today. I mean, seven showings is a lot, so. The neighborhood that we're in, um, like when we bought the house, we were actually the first people to see it and it was off the market within 24 hours. So we're in like a good spot. Um, and so we do think it's gonna go quick, but fingers crossed. But today we are out of the house all day because there's literally showings all day. Okay guys, update. It is much later in the day. It has been a long day. This is very strange right now. We are now on the seventh showing and we are ready to be home so we are sitting creeping out, outside of our house and we just saw people walk in it's a weird thing to see we shouldn't be here <laughs> i kind of like it though because i like i like seeing what's going on but there's a lot of people in there right now they have a sixer sticker on their car so i wouldn't mind if they buy the house yeah so they have a leg up now <laughs> all right we just got off the phone with our realtor and what happened we accepted an offer on our house Okay, so our realtor called. We had a couple different offers, which was really awesome. And they came in at asking price, which is even more awesome because we didn't think we were necessarily going to get that. So that was awesome. And it's actually our neighbor. So we know the people moving in. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Can you believe that we're selling our house? I can, actually. It's pretty crazy. I've been here for about four years. But on to bigger and better things. Okay, so it is inspection day, and we're at the house. Looks we are, great. We are standing in what is going to be our master bedroom. It's a really cool, kind of a different room with like all of these windows. There will be a full house tour, but that's for another day. But yes, inspectors are hard at work. We're hoping nothing big comes up. We're kind of expecting that it, since it's completely gutted and pretty much brand new, that we won't have any issues. So. Um, but you know, there's always that little thing in the back of your mind that just wants to make sure all this works out and goes through because it's not final till it's final. How about this hat? Oh my god. And we got a little chunker on the floor. Yeah, are you loving all this carpet? You can just scooch around for days. Look at all this room. Yeah, you like it. <laughs> Pretty excited about this stuff. Hi, baby girl. Hi. Are you ready to move in here? Uh, yeah. Hey guys, okay, so it's been a little while. Um, the whole moving process has just been pretty much quiet since we had our inspection done. So things are starting to pick back up again because it is finally time to start packing up this house. We are just about three weeks out and I haven't packed a single thing yet, which I don't know if that's necessarily bad. I still feel like I have plenty of time to pack up this house, although I've never packed up and moved out of a house before. The only time I've ever moved has been like out of a bedroom, like <laughs> whether in, in college or from my parents' house. So I don't really know exactly what I'm in for, but I have been putting it off because 
We are here all day long. Matt and I, we both work from home, so we are both here all the time and I just didn't want to live in a disaster area with boxes everywhere and things some things packed some things not that just sound, sounds like a nightmare to me so I've, try, I've been trying to push it off as long as possible so that we are in that weird limbo stage for the shortest amount of time as possible but now that we're three weeks out the time has come and I'm gonna start packing but before I actually start packing up the house I thought I would do a like quick little house tour of this house that we've been living in for the past like almost four years because I've never actually done one of those on my channel and I know I've had a lot of requests so I figured why not show you guys um, our current place before we leave it um, so that you can see where we've been living um, before everything is packed up and doesn't look the same anymore okay so this is our front door and when you walk into our front door this is our living room and dining room area we've got the TV we have this big couch that we love um, and then this is like the, well we call it kitchen table, technically it's a dining room. And then this is our TV area, I've got my Aria going all the time. So that's the dining room and then out here is the sunroom that I totally redid. So I'll show you guys that real quick. Okay, so when you walk out here, it is literally so bright. I love this room so much it is my favorite so i actually totally like redid this room and it is the one room in the house that i am so sad to leave because i'm just obsessed with it everything else i'm just like so excited for the new house and more space and all of that but i am really sad to leave the sunroom um so it's just we had it completely painted white if you see up here that orangey wood the whole room used to be that color and we had it painted um, the paint color is, I think it's like West Highland white. It's from Sherwin Williams. It's like my favorite white color. Anyway, so this is the sunroom. It's the best. I have spend, have spent a lot of time out here. I love, um, like we've taken some naps on that day bed. I also, if I do like my miracle morning where I get up really early, um, I like to do it here. And then also I've been filming a lot of my videos right here. So that's the sunroom. It's my favorite room in the house and I am really sad to leave the sunroom okay so then moving on our kitchen is in here matt's making himself some lunch so this is our cute little kitchen um i've also painted these cabinets they used to be like an orangey wood as well and i have a whole video on my channel how i um did that whole process and it was actually like super affordable so there's rosie down here um so yeah this is our kitchen and we've got our fridge got baby girl hanging down here so mommy can film and daddy can eat yeah and then this is like our little butcher block um, cabinet section over here just some cute decor up on the wall this is one like my main oily shelf in the house where I keep a ton of my oils and then over here we have um, another little staircase our house is like split level so this down here is the only thing we've done so far for moving, which is just collecting a ton <laughs> of boxes. So this is basically just like another sitting room down here that we honestly, sorry the air conditioning's loud, that we honestly don't spend a lot of time in. Um, when we first moved in, this used to be our main living room before we moved it upstairs. So I never really decorated it. Um, there's just a couch down here, TV obviously and a ton of boxes to move. Um, but this, this is just like another sitting room. This room in here is nothing exciting. It's just our um, like washer and dryer and there's actually another little bathroom back there, a big sink. And then if we go back up the stairs and then turn and go around, this is our front door again. We just have like a little mirror, and a shelf with hooks. And then these are the stairs to go upstairs so over here we have um, just like a little hall bathroom the shower that's where we always bathe Hayden that's our little tub and then up here is our attic which is nothing too exciting and I'm scared to even organize and, and move all of the stuff out of there because it's a mess um, this is Hayden's nursery we have our Super fancy blackout shades, aka a navy blue fitted sheet, but it works. Um, so I actually have done a whole nursery tour um, on my channel in Hayden's room. So if you want to see more in depth of her room, how I decorated it, links for everything, um, you can check that out. I love her room. I'm kind of sad to leave this nursery because it's like so 
small and cozy in here, but I know we're gonna love her new one um, so much. So that's her room, and then in here is the master bedroom. Um, so it's our bedroom, and I filmed many a video right here in this spot. Um, so again, nothing crazy special. We have two closets in here, which is actually really nice. That's in this neighborhood we live now. That's a, like, kind of a luxury. They're tiny, um, but the new house is going to have so much more closet space, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, just master bedroom, nothing too exciting. And that's all my hair that I cut off. <laughs> Still haven't donated it. <laughs> Very creepy. And then in here we just have like um, another bathroom with like a glass stall shower, which is super nice. Um, because we love having a bathroom in a room. Even though it's tiny, but the new one will be much bigger, which is really exciting, but we love this house so much. Um, and then there's just one more room, and this is actually another bedroom, but right now it is our office. This is what we've been using for our office, and this room's kind of a mess. Um, but yeah, so this is our office. This is where a lot of the work gets done. Um, I love this cool desk. I actually got that for free from a neighbor, which is so random. But yeah, so this is just the other bedroom in our house, which is right now serving as the office. And I think that's it for the house tour, you guys. I'm gonna go back downstairs and join Matt and Hayden, have some lunch. Oh, and then one thing I didn't show you is we have um, a really cute, we love this backyard. And we'll be sad to leave it, but we're moving to multiple acres, which is my absolute dream. But yeah, so this is our backyard. Um, and it's like a cute little oasis back here. Rosie loves it. Okay guys, so wanted to give you a little update. We are like a week and a half out from moving. We've been doing lots of packing, but still lots of packing to go. So right now I'm in the office, which is the current room that I'm working on. And as you can see, the closet back there is completely emptied. We've got some boxes. I'm also watching, um, Alex Garza, her like home series that she's doing right now because they're looking for a new house. And it's fitting because we are moving to a new house, so I've just been wanting to catch up with that. Um, but yeah, so our house is a complete, yeah, are you okay? <laughs> complete disaster right now. There's stuff everywhere, but it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Um, but yeah, so we're making moves, making progress, and it's crazy to see this room start to get emptied out. We got all of these, actually Matt emptied all of those drawers and the contents are in some of these boxes. Got my um, wedding dress <laughs> in there. And then we've also, how's it going? Hi, how are you? <laughs> we got a lot done, our room is also a disaster. Packed up some stuff in here and also almost emptied everything in my closet. I'm just gonna be like, schlepping all of my hanging clothes. I do this trick where I like wrap it all up in a sheet like the day we leave. So I'm leaving those up there for now. But yeah, slowly getting more and more empty, like pictures are off walls and stuff like that. We are making progress. Another thing I accomplished today, I went around the house and collected literally all, <laughs> well not all, almost all of my oils. Um, I still have some out for like the bare necessities for like diffusing and the ones I use every day to like apply and stuff. But so it's gonna be real fun reorganizing these when we get to the new house, but it had to be done. Another packing update for you guys. Our house is basically a disaster. This is everywhere you look, there's stuff, but it's obviously gonna get worse before it gets better. It's honestly a mess. But one big thing we accomplished, well, I should say Matt accomplished. This is our attic and Matt went through and pretty much packed up everything in here. Everything is labeled or boxed up and it is just ready for movers to come in here and get all of this stuff. So that is making me feel a lot better because this attic, you guys, I mean, there's still a lot of stuff up here, but it was just, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff and it just required a lot of organization and there was a lot of stuff that we threw out. Um, and yeah, so. He went through and did all of this stuff. This is like literally almost all Christmas decorations. So yeah, feeling good that this is totally checked off the list. And then now we are going to head into the nursery, which is right here. We haven't done anything in here yet. Um, and we're just gonna start tackling like the bookcase, 
probably taking some decor down, just like all the, you know, fun stuff that's really not necessary at all. Um, I mean, we'll probably leave out a couple books because I do read to Hayden every night. But yeah, so we're gonna get started in this room, just getting this all organized. Morning guys, so today is a really exciting day. Um, I'm in the car right now obviously and we are going to go sign for our current house. Um, Matt is actually with Hayden. I had to run to the post office. That's, I'm sitting outside of the post office right now and I'm gonna go meet him. Um, we are actually signing early because we're not gonna go to the actual um, like closing for our current house that we're in um, which is next week. We're just gonna go to the settlement on the day of for our current house obviously or our new house, I'm sorry. So we're going to sign today, we're gonna to sign early, but it's kind of crazy that we're finally signing away our house and once the new owners sign next Wednesday, it's a done deal. So pretty exciting. Okay, we are walking in. Sign some papers. Hey. Moving day! So we are very excited this day has finally come. Um, the movers are actually here now. They are starting to get everything onto the truck. Um, and then the plan at least was for all of us to go down to the new house, oversee the unpacking of everything and all that jazz. But you guys, how about this timing? Yesterday, the day before <laughs> our big move, I threw out my back. It's literally such a joke. Like I wasn't even doing any heavy lifting. I kid you not, I just tossed a wool dryer ball, which if you have those, you know they are light as air. I just tossed it into a box and I was like bent over slightly and whole back just gave out. I've never thrown out my back in my life. This is like a new thing for me. Um, and I was like chronicling the whole <laughs> me being laid up on Instagram yesterday. So if you follow me on there, you already heard all of this. But um, so yeah, so that's happening. And unfortunately I am totally useless. So the real bummer is I'm not even like going to the house today. Um, Hayden and I are gonna go over to my parents' house and Matt is gonna go oversee all of the packing. And I asked him if he would try and get some vlog clips there. I'm gonna take over. <laughs> we'll see how he does. Let's go. Subscribe, just like butt. <laughs> But anyway, so Hayden and I are just going over to hang out with my mom today because I can't even be, I li like can't even be alone with her. I can't pick her up. I can't put her in and out of her car seat. So I need help on with all of that. So that's what's happening today. It was certainly not what we had planned, but it's all good. Um, and luckily we hired movers, so it wasn't that big of a deal because it's not like I'm going to be doing crazy heavy lifting anyway. But yeah, so it's moving day. All right, so I'm taking over because Becca threw out her back, as I believe she explained already. So, we, our old house is all packed up. The movers are on the way. I made it down to the new house already. I'm just waiting for them to arrive. And then we are going to pack, not pack, we're gonna unload the truck in the new house. So, pretty exciting. Took about six hours for them to load up our house, which probably a lot longer than I expected but should be pretty easy to unpack so we shall see uh, so that's your update hopefully I did it correct you're welcome Becca morning you guys so it's Tuesday morning just the day before we settle um, and we came back to our house this morning Matt moved all day with the movers yesterday they didn't get done until like 8 o'clock at night and they started at like just after 7 so it was a super long day and we just came back to the house. It is almost completely empty, minus some rolls of paper towels, a few bottles of face cleaner, and a couple last minute things. But we just came to do one last sweep of the house, a little bit of cleaning, and to grab like our plants and things like that. But this is the last time we're ever gonna be here. Are you sad to leave this house? Is it hitting you? 
It's not hitting me yet. It's empty, but it's still not hitting me. But. It's starting to hit me. I got a little emotional when I was in her nursery. Oh, well. All it's, empty. It's hitting me that I smell. I've been wearing the same clothes for three days in a row. <laughs> it's crazy, like, when you know you're actually leaving, just like going room to room and then like remembering, like all these like things start coming back, like just like fun stuff or even like, I don't know, just standing in our bedroom and thinking of all the times that we like rock came to sleep in the middle of the night when she still had her snoo in the room and just like being in her nursery, remembering like all her early days and like just looking in the office and thinking of like big business milestones. It's just, it's like all hitting me and it is actually sad. I didn't expect to feel this sad because I'm so excited for our new house. But you know, it is kind of hard leaving your first home. Um, but I'm still just, we had just so much joy in this house and we are ready. We are ready for the next step. What do you think, baby? Are you ready for the new house? Are you sad to leave this one? You didn't learn to crawl here, not yet. I guess you'll be crawling in the new house. Just rolling, a lot of rolling. Yeah, I love you. I love you, yes I do. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden. Hayden. Hi, baby. Rosie, are you sad to leave this house? Yeah, you spent your whole life here. This is where you've lived your whole life. Yeah, are you sad to leave? Are you sad to leave? She's like, what is going on? She's so confused by all these empty rooms. Hi, guys. Okay, so what's today? It's settlement day, baby. <laughs> We're getting that farmhouse. <laughs> So today is settlement day. Um, today is actually Friday. We were supposed to settle on Wednesday. The last time we vlogged, we were at the, our old house um, and it was completely empty. And literally like five, less than five minutes after I vlogged that class clip, um, our realtor called us and told us basically that there was some kind of miscommunication um, along the lines with if you've ever bought a house, you know there's like a lot of people that are involved with like the whole thing. Um, so there was some kind of miscommunication somewhere along the line with one of the parties involved and they were unaware of the Wednesday settlement and they thought it was like the next week and it was this whole thing. So it got pushed back to today, which is Friday, which is fine. Um, we just stayed a couple more days at um, my parents' house. But it's finally settlement day and we're <laughs> hoping we get our house today. We are. It's all done. Yeah, we're about, just about done here. Yeah, so we're about to walk in, sign all the papers. Yep. And then hand over a check. Yeah, hand over a check, and it's all ours. It is. Yeah. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Hello again. So we're in our new house. Cheers. We're drinking a little bit of red wine that we actually got from our is that mortgage broker? Lender. Lender. Real nice guy. He makes his own wine and he gifted us with a bottle, so we're trying it. It's actually not bad. Um, so we're in our new house and we're so excited. We got the keys today. I'll literally show you the keys to our new house. And there are boxes everywhere. We just got Hayden down. Today was like kind of a whirlwind ever since we got the keys. You know, it's just craziness. Um, but so we're in here. We are not settled, but we are on our way to being settled. Uh, what do you think, Matt? Are you excited? Very excited. Decent yeah. amount to do, but I think packing is harder than unpacking. So. I think so too, but unpacking is more exciting. Sure. And we uh, just had a rookie moment. We didn't know how to <laughs> lock the French doors. I was watching YouTube videos. It took about 30 minutes. But There's a trick know. to it. There is. Now we know it. Now we know. So the doors are locked for our first night. So that's good. Because <laughs> yeah. we unlocked all of them, trying to figure out how they relock. So all of our doors were open. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I'm actually going to end the vlog here. I'm sure you guys are dying to see what the house actually looks like. Here's a little bit of a sneak peek. You can see a little bit of our kitchen. Um, but if you wanna see our old, like redone farmhouse, the house was originally built in 1760, at least the original part of the house. Um, so if you guys wanna see all of that, um, you'll have to watch the next video, which is going to be a pretty much empty 
house tour. But that is it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. And I'm definitely gonna be sharing some like decor and decorating and stuff like that for our new house. Um, but what do you say? So subscribe, like, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.